What's up? Welcome back to another video. This is 65 days on a commercial fishing boat. I compiled all my footage from the entire last fishing season so you can see how I go from super happy in the beginning to super burnt out at the end. I did use some of the footage from the last two videos so if you've seen those you'll be familiar with some of the content but I still think it was really cool to include so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to drop a sub, comment, like the video. We're officially headed to the airport. Today is day one of the 2024 fishing season. But first we gotta get a bucket of Starbucks. I'm usually bad about filming fishing content, but this year I told myself I was gonna be better, so the vlogs are coming. Welcome to Dutch Harbor, Alaska. Today marks day one, the start of 2024 A season. Typically what we do on day one is just get settled in and warm up the boat. Tomorrow we'll start projects and start putting everything together to start fishing. For those of you who have not seen the boat, I'll show you just really quickly so you can see it. But this is gonna be a long video so you'll get familiar with it over time. Here's the deck, this is where we fish, this is our net. We walk in, we got our washer and dryer here. Reefer room here where we chill the fish. This is where we keep our gear. And we come in. We got the galley where we eat, TV, three staterooms, and our bathroom. And that's where you go up to the pilot house. It's day two. We've just been doing some random projects today putting the boat together. Right now we're getting our freezer food on the boat. Everybody thinks all we eat is fish. It's false. I'm gonna show you guys where we keep all the food. Yeah, it's kind of empty, but this is where we keep everything. This is James, probably the only one you guys are gonna see on camera, because Corey probably doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> He's not a camera guy. What's up, bruh? not even bad and I'm already starting to feel like kind of queasy usually I don't get seasick but I feel like every single year it just gets a little bit worse it sucks as you can see it's pretty cold out here we're starting to build some ice but it's actually a pretty nice day out right now. For A season, this is nice weather. It is kind of cold though. You guys will also hear me talk about trips a lot. And what a trip refers to is us leaving the dock, going, filling up the boat and coming back. In the beginning, our quota is based off a certain amount of pounds to catch. And our boat can pack say roughly 550,000 pounds. So then say at the beginning of the season, if you have 6 million pounds to catch, you do the math and then it gets broken up into trips. And I think for this season we have 12. Well, I was showing the people the boat. They only have ever seen us in the garage. This is how we pay for the garage. This is how we pay for the garage. Yeah. Welcome to our home away from home. Okay. Here we go. Oh yeah. time
Bro. So you guys just saw a set, then we hauled back because something was messed up, and then we set again, and now we're hauling back again to change door lake settings, but my GoPro is dead, so I'll see you guys in a bit. and I still haven't slept so we gotta haul back one more time then we'll be done and then I can go to sleep and I'm really looking forward to it finally at 5.44 we're all done it's been busy the last few days two days ago we finished up a trip we went straight into town started offloading at 2 a.m. and by 6 a.m. we were done and we were leaving the channel back out for another trip. Last night we made it out to the ground. We started fishing and finished up at 7.30 a.m. this morning. So we we're up all night fishing. Then I slept from like 8 to 3 p.m. So my schedule is super whack. We're finally on our way in and we're over halfway done with the season now. Supposed to be pretty bad weather on the way in, but it came down, so we're making good speed right now. We're about 50 miles from the dock still, so we'll be there in probably five, six hours. Yeah, this is kind of the part of the season where I start getting super antsy and ready to get home. Cross over that halfway mark and you start counting trips down, so I'm ready to go. We've been at the dock for like four days now, but I haven't filmed. We work on a rotation schedule, so basically every boat in the plant gets their turn to offload, and we're back a little bit early, so that's why we've been in town for so long without going back out fishing. We've been doing a few projects, picking the net, charging the eggs things like that but now I'm about to go grab a coffee and I need to get a new hat because I've been wearing the same one way too much so I'm seeing if I can find a new hat here as you can tell it's a shitty day the snow is fine but I don't like the rain because then everything gets so slushy this right here is premium Dutch Harbor coffee and that's Mount Ballyhoo and there's an airport right there I know it doesn't really look like it but I'm about to go in here to see if I can find a hat no hat but i ended up getting gloves and some boot liners we got a hat i don't know it's i'm giving it like a 5.8 out of 10 it's not the greatest but it's what they had yeah green and blue not looking great together that's unity right there that's where i fish just on the other side is where my boat is this is like the main road of the island over that hill right there that's where you go to unalaska where everybody lives there's the northwestern i know a lot of people want to see that 
sagas up there. To be honest, I don't even know what boats are on the show anymore. But this is basically like what the entire island looks like. It's just boats. Swing the truck. There's actually a lot of snow right now. Swing team. on my head. Box if you swallow this. and they fully disconnect the door from the net once they're off. Oh. Here's when the fun happens.
how it looking? Good, I think we're pretty much full. Oh, sweet. Yeah. grounds and we're gonna start fishing probably at like 12 or 1 in the morning so I'll show you guys what it's like fishing during the night spoiler alert fucking sucks I just want to go home bro I feel like I missed out on so much I'm so sick of being here I want to hang out with friends I want to film car shit it's like I'm happy I can share this content with you guys but like I'm so sick of filming it we just left for another trip this morning we got three more to go this weather kind of sucks after over two months of being on this boat, I can finally say we caught all our quota, we got all our fish, we're on our way in with our last trip right now. And I could not be more fucking excited. I'm so fucking sick of this shit. Here we are coming in from the last trip, the season's finally over. All our fish have been caught, but we still aren't done. At the end of the season, we have to put everything away and we always do a big clean. I started with getting some extra tie-up lines out and then put all our buoys out in case somebody ties up next to us. Next we got our soap and now we're gonna scrub the entire boat. I started clearing all the hammers and punches and line off deck that we don't need. And then I got some Albright ready to get the rust off the boat. Cause we always gotta keep the boat looking nice. Cleared off the deck, got my soap ready and started cleaning. That before and after though, I get super OCD about cleaning. I probably go overboard, but I can't leave the boat dirty. I still need to clean the gantry, but it was so cold, everything started to freeze. So I'm gonna finish that part tomorrow. Looking pretty good though out here. I put this hose away so it doesn't freeze overnight and started cleaning inside. Next on the agenda is to clean the reefer room. This is where we store all of our gear so fish gills get everywhere and it gets pretty dirty. I also threw out a ton of my old rain gear because everything had holes in it by the end of the season. Lastly, I got this new buoy and grabbed some line to rig it up. It's like 8.30 now though, so I'm gonna shower, eat some dinner, and repeat the same shit tomorrow before we fly home. I appreciate you watching. Hey man, we are finally back home. It's already been busy. If you guys have been following the TikTok or the YouTube, you probably know exactly what I'm about to say. I've been basically daily vlogging on there. We just hit the 100K mark on TikTok, so thank you guys if you're one of the followers. If you're not, you should go check it out because I post a lot of content on there. But I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown. We finished up the season, got the boat ready, and we flew home. I did a pretty bad job about vlogging it all. I was home, I flew here to Seattle for less than 24 hours, and then I was already on another plane back to Vegas so I could go see my sister and celebrate a birthday party. I was there for like five days, filmed a few videos for Instagram and TikTok, and then I flew back here and I've been here ever since. I think I've been home for like a week now. So it's been busy, super back and forth, but I've been having fun being home. It's so nice being home. Like being on the boat really makes you appreciate the little things in life, like coming home to your own clean space. It, well, I say clean. I got some laundry here I need to do, but your own space, just, it feels so nice. And somebody in my comments said, I went from a hey-ho fisherman to a LA fuck boys. I'm not the same person I am when I'm on the boat. That's work mode, Jake. That's fisherman, Jake. The comments are crazy, but I am a different person when I'm at home. It's like, I can be more myself. I'm with people that I'm comfortable with. I'm not always stuck on the boat and depressed, so I'm happy that I'm home. I just wanna say thank you guys. Like, I've been making videos for so long. Like, if you're super OG, I was posting gaming videos in like 2017, and, and then I've been posting car content for like many years now, and then the fishing stuff kind of popped it all off, but I just love making content, and I really appreciate it when you guys watch and interact with me, so yeah, thank you guys. I'm editing this video right now as you're watching it. I don't really have anything crazy planned right now. Um, I'm just gonna start vlogging like more of my lifestyle stuff. Like as you guys seen on the short form videos I've been posting, like I went fishing one day, then I'll post a video about cars, then post a video about like going to the gym and shit. So just anything that I'm doing, I'm gonna take you guys along just so you guys can see what kind of what my life's like. Bro.
I had some like Cholula on my lips or something. Wish I saw that before I filmed those clips. But I'm not redoing shit. 